I've been a wandering all this night and the best part of the day. But when I come back home again, I will bring you a branch of May. The hedges and fields are clothed in green, as green as the early leaf. The clouds above will water them with morning rain so sweet. I did a lot of research into myths and folk tales. Every culture has a story of how these different flowers came to be. And hidden in those stories of how the flowers came to be speaks about what they feel about that flower. It's like a meditation on the flower. So I sometimes think when I know the story of a flower, it kind of surrounds it like a new perfume when I'm working in the garden. And uh, that's especially helpful when I'm weeding. Um, in fact, this next story is going to concern a flower that a lot of people call the, the children's flower. It's considered a weed. I'm sure you'll recognize it. <laughs> it's our friend, the dandelion. Shawanda see the south wind. He's very lazy. He arrives in the north after the north wind has done all the pruning of all the winter bad branches. But one spring, when Shawandasi arrived, there was a new maiden. She had a strong yellow page boy. She had a jagged green skirt. And her blood ran thick and white as milk. You shall be my bride, he said. And then he fell asleep. It had never felt before, something it didn't understand. It wanted to protect this flower. It wanted to help this flower. It was song. The flower caused the nightingale to sing, sing for the first time. Oh, will you please open? The world is a beautiful place to be. Now a new day we will share, filled with nights of endless song, a sound so pure for one so fair. And looking at this flower, I have to say, when he was born, they knew he was special. Narcissus. His skin was so translucent, and he had the rosy cheeks. He had dimples in all the right places. And his parents were so excited. They said, oh, this boy is just going to have such a great life. He's just so wonderful. Let's take him to Tiresias the seer and see what goodies are in store for him. Tiresias the seer looked at that beautiful baby boy, and he said, as long as he does not know himself, he will have a long life. But under the arm of one of those fanning servants flew a little bee. It flew right over, landed right on King Solomon's nose, and stung him right on the nose. Ouch! said King Solomon, jumping up into the air and rending it with the greatness of his cry of ouch! Who hath done this to me? His nose was getting as big and round as a tomato. Who hath done this to me? Which means, who did this to I? Well, instantly, all the insects that can sting, all the insects that can bite, they hid. They hid under leaf, they hid behind bark, they hid in the swamp. They said, who did that to King Solomon? Did you do that to me? I didn't do that to you. 